Now on Coast TV News. Election looming with 48 hours to go. How the presidential candidates are trying to get your vote. Early voting concludes on Delmarva. New information from polling officials today. A bicyclist killed in Dagsboro. What we know that led up to this deadly crash. We continue to deal with dangerously dry drought conditions across all of Delmarva. More on that coming up. This is Coast TV News at 6. Tons of people taking time to do their civic duty ahead of Election Day. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. Welcome to Coast TV News at 6. We begin tonight with Delaware hosting the 10th and last day of early voting. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us what the final day of early voting looked like in the first state and why record numbers are expected. Sunday was the last day of early voting in Delaware, with people walking through the Millville Community Center doors, casting their vote and grabbing a sticker. This is our country and we need to take responsibility for what we want. This is the first year for early in-person voting in Delaware, and Troy McCabe, who's been an election official for over 12 years, says in Justice Millville Polling Center alone, they've already had over 10,000 people come out early and vote. Um, you're going to allow more people to vote because it has more diverse times rather than coming out all in one day, which may discourage a lot of voters because they're not able to stand, they're not able to move through the line, they don't, they're discouraged with long lines, whereas here they can process on much faster. Madeline Sasha says she's waited hours before to cast her vote, but this year it only took minutes. I came to vote last night right after work and it took a couple minutes and then I brought him this morning, a couple minutes and it just makes the process a whole lot easier. McKay believes early voting will bring more votes in compared to previous elections, something he says is the best thing for this country. Uh, all the volunteers here believe in, in what we're doing in a sense of it's a uh, civic duty, it's democracy, and it, it's, it's who we are as a country. Uh, there's so many people around the world would love to have the opportunity to vote, so don't take it for granted, uh, get out and vote. Polls are closed Monday before all eyes turn to election day itself, Tuesday. I'm Kevin Zappay in Millville, Coast TV News. And according to the latest data from the Department of Elections, Sussex County had the highest amount of early voters in the state. As of this morning, over 229,000 Delawareans voted, either in person early or via absentee. In Sussex County, nearly 98,000 people have already cast their ballot. And many people have questions about early voting and voting on Election Day itself. Well, we have a list of polling places and rules right now on CoastTV.com. And be sure to join us here on Coast TV News on Election Night for coverage of all of those key elections here on Delmarva. Let's go ahead and take a live look right now outside into Salisbury. As we turn to our first alert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams, who another headline, not just the election, but the drought. Yeah, and the drought, I mean, even though we mustered up just, just shy of a trace, if you can actually measure that, uh, for October, basically it was the driest October on record. Uh, and November starts off dry as well. We have yet to record any precipitation that we could measure or at all. Now the drought continues because we barely had a trace for October. And then election day, uh, Tuesday, well, we're looking for a great turnout of, well, sunshine actually, and hopefully voters as well. Temperatures will be in the 70s. Now, where are we? Well, we are in Still County. We're on day 37, folks. I mean, that's just basically where we are. But I do see a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel, but right now it's darkest before the dawn, so to speak. I mean, we're still in the midst of severe drought at this present time and at least moderate drought throughout most of uh, the Delmarva Peninsula. But get this, Thursday might turn out to be a better opportunity for rain than we initially thought. We'll talk more about that coming up in a moment. Till then, back to you, Maddie. Paul, thank you. New tonight, a man riding an e-bike was killed in Dagsboro this weekend. Let's show you the spot on 113 near Molly Field Road where police say the 79 year old cyclist attempted to cross the highway and ran into a Ford F-150. Good news, the police say the driver was not hurt. The town of Ellendale says new homes in town were stolen from. This was specifically on Ingram Village on Charlotte Avenue there. The town says construction wire was stolen from the homes that are still being built. You might remember earlier this week, we reported on an escaped emu on the loose in Sussex County. 
Well, after a wild 72 hours, Liberty, the escaped emu, she's back home. There she is getting caught. A neighbor spotted her on her home in Laurel. It's pretty far away because she got out in Frankfurt. Now, with the police's help, you see here Libby is now back safe and sound. Pretty worried for a minute there, but I uh, saw how the community came together helping. And I'm very grateful because without everyone's help, uh, she'd still be God knows where. And I'm very thankful that she's back home safe. Going forward, Libby's owner says she plans on putting an air tag on Libby just in case. It is the final push towards Election Day as the presidential campaigns are on an all out blitz in battleground states. NBC senior national correspondent Jay Gray joins us with more from Bucks County in the swing state of Pennsylvania. Hey there, good evening from Doylestown, Pennsylvania, the county seat of Bucks County. Again, one of those counties that, like so many across this state, are split purple between the Republicans and Democrats, and one that could ultimately decide this election. Polls showing that Pennsylvania is split right down the middle, and so that's why the candidates are focusing uh, not only here, but across many of the swing states in the last couple of days. But the rhetoric on the campaign trail is getting a bit personal in the final few days. She will get completely overwhelmed, melt down, and millions of people will die. No, we can't have this. It's not a charity event running for president or being president. This is an election for the biggest and toughest job in the history of the world. This is not someone who is thinking about how to make your life better. This is someone who is increasingly unstable, obsessed with revenge, consumed with grievance, and the man is out for unchecked power. And in less than 90 days, it's either going to be him or me in the Oval Office. Again, over the last couple of days now, we will see these candidates really focusing on these swing states and trying to make their mark before uh, folks go to the polls on Tuesday. In fact, on Monday, both candidates will spend significant time right here in Pennsylvania. That's the latest from Doylestown. I'm Jay Gray, NBC News. And right now, you are looking at NBC News' final poll ahead of Election Day. Poll shows Harris getting support from 49% of registered voters in a head-to-head -head matchup. Trump gets an identical 49%. Just 2% of voters say they are undecided. Well, join us tonight for Sunday Night Football here on Coast TV. The Colts, Paul's team, take on the Vikings. Pre-game coverage starts at 7. And join us after for your exclusive hyper-local news. Still to come on Coast TV News, Beach Patrol progress. What we'll learn about Rehoboth's big project in a matter of hours. And um, go Colts, but also with the weather. Listen, we're enduring another drought pattern, but it looks like there's a little, well, there's, there's no rain in sight, but I think we have, a, we, have a, we have a chance on Thursday. Just stick around. But first, a Delmarva tradition. Returns, no pun intended there. Coast TV News will be right back. Behind every champion, there's a force that never wavers. It's the voice that whispers, keep going, when the world says, give up. At County Bank, we're more than just a bank. We're your unwavering support, like a coach who sees your potential, like a parent who believes in your dreams. We're here to help you reach for greatness, because your success is our success. County Bank, supporting champions in life every day. County Bank, member FDIC. When you're ready to build an extraordinary custom home or an exceptional commercial building, Brendan T. Warfel is here for you. From high-end residential homes to customized commercial facilities, Brendan T. Warfel will provide you with honest and upfront pricing, personal service, and stunning finished products. Choose quality. Choose Brendan T. Warfel. I build every home as if my family's going to live in it. If my name's going on it, it's going to be done right. I guarantee it. With Brendan T. Warfel, excellence comes standard.
Welcome to Farmhouse Pet Lodge, your pet's home away from home. Our state-of-the-art secure lodge offers exceptional care for dogs, cats, and other pets. For daycare or boarding with private suites, custom food prep, UV air filtration, centralized disinfection, and 24-7 care, your pet will be safe, healthy, and happy. Book now and get 10% off your first stay. Ask about our grooming services and tailored training programs. Give your furry friends an amenity-filled vacation at our family-owned, conveniently located Farmhouse Pet Lodge. We know Marilyn. And we know Angela Alsterbrooks is the right choice for Senate. Angela is the kind of partner I need. You have a chance to send a leader to the Senate who will always put you first. She will fight to lower costs and create opportunity. Control of the Senate could come down to Marilyn. I'm counting on you to support my friend, Angela Alsterbrooks. I'm Angela Alsterbrooks. I approve this message. Now let's get to work. <laughs> Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Kalsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Kalsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Kalsa Jewelers. At Kalsa Jewelers, we offer signature pieces to celebrate love and those special moments in our life. Peace to all, light to all, love to all. Celebrate with us at Historic Lewis and Rehobo Beach. This is Coast TV News at 6. You are watching the literal burying of the hatchet. It's the centerpiece of Return Day, which is Thursday. It's a day of bipartisanship, two days after the election, where traditionally opposing political candidates go in a parade together and the returns of the election are read out loud. I know many of our viewers are new to the area, and this is something you only see here. Return Day has been a tradition in Georgetown for over 200 years. People would return to the county seat to hear the returns of the election read out loud. And Coast TV will have extensive coverage of Return Day. Be sure to join us Thursday for that day of bipartisanship in Delmarva Flair on November 7th. Still to come, a new museum on the eastern shore. We'll show you where after the break. In Washington, they talk, but in Delaware, Sarah delivers. Sarah McBride helped raise the minimum wage. She got paid leave for workers. She got Democrats and Republicans to work together. We're all in for Sarah. Carpenters. Bus drivers. Nurses. She metal workers. Sarah sees us. And she respects us. I'm Sarah McBride. I approve this message because anyone who works hard should be able to make ends meet. That's why I'm running for Congress. What am I going to do for Christmas gifts this year? Let's go to the pottery place. For pottery and statues? No, they have so much more. Let's go. From the smallest accent pieces to the largest gift ideas, The Pottery Place is your one-stop shop for the most unique finds this holiday season. Shop the largest selection of art, decor, kitchenware, novelties, stocking stuffers, and more. Winter hours starting November 1st from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Let's go to The Pottery Place. The Pottery Place in Fenwick Island, Delaware, a family tradition for over 50 years. At Just Comfort Shoes, the Birkenstock store, we love hearing your Birkin stories. We've traveled the world in our Birkenstocks. Our whole family lives in our Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks have been part of my life for over 20 years. Locally owned and operated, Just Comfort Shoes is the only Birkenstock specialty store in Delaware, offering the widest selection and latest styles, including exclusive limited editions. And we offer superior service and expert fitting. Visit Just Comfort Shoes in our two Rehoboth Beach locations and start your Birkin story today. I'm Larry Hogan and I approve this message. Like you, I'm fed up with all the political BS. You know me. You know my proven record of reaching across the aisle to find common ground. I'm not just another Republican. I'll make your life more affordable and support a woman's right to choose. You know I have the courage to put people over politics and country over party, and I'll be the same strong independent leader I've always been. Join us. I'm asking for your trust and your vote. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital.
The dread of the drought continues. We are on day 37 of no measurable precipitation. Boardwalk Plaza camera will drop down to 50 with limited cloud cover. We're staying very clear, but here's the bottom line. We're still in the midst of a severe drought throughout all of Sussex. We take a look at Tuesday morning. We start off in the 60s, end up in the 70s, mid 70s, with more in the way of sunshine and the winds out of the south. Now we have the bone dry pattern, but here's where that ray of hope comes into play right here on Thursday, a 41, and we can say whopping at this point, a whopping 41% chance of rain. So let's take a look at Thursday. This is midnight, cloudy skies. This is our shot right here, seven o'clock in the morning. We have that shot of rain, a decent shot of rain to measure some kind of precipitation. It's gonna move to the south by one o'clock. So that's our only small little window of opportunity. And our general election forecast, well, we're gonna stay clear of any rain, which is good, because that'll allow folks that still have to vote to come on out without any rain, causing them any issue. Finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodel Extended Forecast. Now remember, I wanted to show you, don't forget, you were supposed to fall back, did you, Maddie? We'll be back after this. All right, guys, we're going to Jason's for the game this week. It's gonna be dark, musty, and cramped, but we got this. Bring it in. One, two, three. Man, I totally forgot we got a new show home. Yeah, we moved in a few months ago, wait. Where'd everyone go? This snack table is huge! I can't tell if I'm inside or outside. Oh yeah, that's fresh. Get a shell home, they said. All of your friends will want to come over to the game, they said. The Judy Center Early Learning Hub works with families with children birth to the age of five to ensure that they are ready for school. We partner with members of our community to build a family strong enough to handle even the toughest challenges. By offering a free home education program, play groups, story times, parent workshops, and monthly events, we enhance your kids' readiness for school. The Judy Center provides your family with the resources necessary to raise a child. The Judy Center, one community, one family. Because of Pam's rehab team, they have helped me meet my goals of taking a shower after four years. The Pam Rehab Team can help me meet my goals. I'm pretty sure they can help me get yours. Navigating life after illness or injury is a challenging time filled with uncertainties. At Pam Health Rehabilitation Hospital, we provide high quality inpatient and outpatient post-acute care that'll help you rebuild your life. It's all about gains, gain your movement, gain your independence, gain your life back. Pam Health Rehabilitation Hospital, the highest level of care with three locations to better meet your needs. A wet crawl space is a lurking hazard, inviting mold, rot, and structural worries. The answer is Brazier's Crawl Space Encapsulation. Our specialist tailors the solution to your exact crawl space. Our expert team cleans and upgrades your crawl space into a pristine, protected environment. And we only use April Air dehumidifiers, reliable and robust, complete with a five-year warranty. Take the first step to a drier, safer home. Call Brazier's or visit our website. Your peace of mind is just one call away. My dad, Mike Ramone, is a different kind of public servant. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, right. But I know from my own experience how much he cares about everyone. He's a great father and grandfather. You can see how much their futures matter to him. And he has the same passion for your kid's future. He's focused on fixing our schools and getting teachers and students the resources they need. What I can promise is he'll be a great governor for all of Delaware. On Monday, Rehoboth commissioners will hear new numbers about its ongoing beach patrol project. At last check, the project was $550,000 over budget. The city says it's scheduled to be done in May. We'll be right back. Minor surges happen every day in your home, but a surge protection system from Expert Wire safeguards everything from appliances to your home's heating and air conditioning system. Expert Wire ensures professional insulation for complete peace of mind. Leave the wiring to the experts and make it a powerful day. Tommy K. Morse was recently nominated as one of the top five female roofing professionals in the U.S. and Canada, and Morse Roofing and Siding was voted as the best roofing company in Sussex County for the last five years in a row. Thank you, Sussex County. Thank you. 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 Durban, Sussex County, there's good. There's better. And, and then, then there's worse. How many bottles of water do you drink every day? 
Wish you could get an endless supply of bottle quality water right at your sink? You can with Shore Water Refining. For about two bucks a day, you'll never need to buy another bottle of water. Our reverse osmosis system will take up less room than one case and save you time and money. And as a bonus, we'll install an emergency shutoff valve under your sink to protect you while you're away. Absolutely free. Call or visit us online at shorewaterde.com today to get started. When you're ready to build an extraordinary custom home or an exceptional commercial building, Brendan T. Warfel is here for you. From high-end residential homes to customized commercial facilities, Brendan T. Warfel will provide you with honest and upfront pricing, personal service, and stunning finished products. Choose quality. Choose Brendan T. Warfel. I build every home as if my family's going to live in it. If my name's going on it, it's going to be done right. I guarantee it. With Brendan T. Warfel, excellence comes standard. Prince George's County politician Angela Alsobrooks may live near D.C., but she bring tons of baggage. Nearly two decades of illegal tax breaks, $59,000 in back taxes, and thousands in unpaid bills. A sweetheart tax deal. Typical politician. Slumlord Alsobrooks? Records show she was caught operating an illegal rental property. With so much baggage, how can we trust Alsobrooks to represent us? Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Minor surges happen every day in your home, but a surge protection system from Expert Wire safeguards everything from appliances to your home's heating and air conditioning system. Expert Wire ensures professional insulation for complete peace of mind. Leave the wiring to the experts and make it a powerful day. Downtown Salisbury's newest museum has opened its doors. The Museum of Eastern Shore Culture at Salisbury University. That's open in the Powell Building there on Main Street. We wanted to represent all members of the community and moving forward that's definitely a part of our mission and I'm just excited today you know to talk to people who come in to see us for the first time. I just hope that when people come in they feel inspired, that they feel seen, that they're excited to see something different in, in the community especially in the downtown space um, and that they just feel like they want to be a part of it uh, and uh, create a place of community. The Museum of Eastern Shore Culture is open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4. It's free. We'll be right back. As a math teacher, Matt Meyer knows that Delaware's tax system isn't adding up, so he has a plan to fix it. Give middle class families a tax cut, invest in schools, and lower costs. But Mike Ramone's plan gives tax breaks to the ultra rich, which could cut education by nearly $175 million. Matt Meyer knows these numbers don't add up. He'll make state taxes fair so families can get ahead. Vote Matt Meyer for governor. Hey, Linda, come check out my bathroom remodel. I'm having it done by those guys on TV. They do everything. Paint me green and call me a cucumber. I thought they was going to spice up your bathroom, Cletus. You should have called Peninsula Bath. Listen, Linda, you made the right choice. At Peninsula Bath, we do bathroom remodeling, and that's it. Top quality, competitively priced, and customer focused, and ready when you are. Thank you, Peninsula Bath. What could you do with your new Amish tradesman pole building? A garage, workshop, pool house, office, in-law suite, or just a big old toy box. The Amish Tradesman provides free custom 3D design to reflect your vision built with Amish quality. For nearly 20 years, our Amish crew continues to operate in Southern Delaware where we live, work, and worship. Call us today to set up your free design consultation at 302-349-5550 or get inspired online at theamishtradesman.com. If you're looking to build at the beach, the Lee and Wilkinson Group is here to represent you. We'll guide you through the process to turn your dream home into a reality. Our long-standing relationships with both the large and boutique builders and extensive knowledge of our market are just some of the reasons why we've been the number one real estate team in coastal Delaware for over 25 years. From foundation to forever, the Leanne Wilkinson Group is a proud affiliate of Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, PenFed Realty. Behind every champion, there's a force that never wavers. It's the voice that whispers, keep going, when the world says, give up. At County Bank, we're more than just a bank. We're your unwavering support, like a coach who sees your potential, like a parent who believes in your dreams. We're here to help you reach for greatness because your success is our success. 
County Bank, supporting champions in life every day. County Bank, member FDIC. In the land of the north. It takes a whole clan to defend your home. Invaders are coming. Goats, Vikings, on NBC and Peacock. Last day of battles and everything's going great. This is a tough decision. I heard the spirit of your vindication was brought forth an ovation. Snoopism, huh? The Voice, new Monday on NBC and Peacock. In Ocean City, will fall to the low 40s, according to our Hershey's exterior camera. And in Dover, we're seeing, seeing things are very quiet. Keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line. Sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. And finally, here's a look at your exclusive 10-day forecast. Get out and vote on Tuesday. All right, Paul, thank you. And thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Join us tonight after Sunday Night Football. Until then, have a great night.